Guys, where have I disappeared to? After two months away from the family, I'm finally back home. <laughs> So I'm back at my bike. Um, gonna uncover it. Uh, haven't been at the bike for two months. Gonna do a cold start, inspect it, check it around, listen to it a little bit, let it run a little bit. And I, I'm beat today. I've had a, a long day with John helping him out. Uh, so I'm not gonna be riding today. I'll go riding tomorrow. Actually, uh, before I even start, take a look at this. I recorded this two days ago just as I came back from uh, my long, long trip. Guys, where have I disappeared to? Where have I gone? Just got back from uh, Israel. I was there for almost two months, close to two months. I'm still jet lagged. I keep waking up uh, every morning at three, four o'clock in the morning. It's been crazy this year. Well, the past year I've been uh, furloughed. I've been out of work for uh, almost, uh, yeah, almost, uh, a full year the airline has been affected uh, really severely so uh, the company actually the airline almost went bankrupt and it went uh, it, there was a new investor that came in and bought the company but uh, this whole time I was uh, pretty much home not making uh, enough uh, actually not making any of this that's why you didn't see me uh, a lot of you guys were asking about uh, you know when am I gonna put a, a new engine do some upgrades to the engine and I was putting aside all these uh, expensive upgrades and as a matter of fact I was downsizing. I sold all my my I sold my truck, I sold my car. I just stayed with one car for the family. You know, cut every possible expense and it's it's amazing to see, you know, during uh, these financial hardships how how you know how uh, you're able you know to find where to cut what expenses to cut. And to downsize, you know, for this uh, difficult time. But uh, I'm back. I went back to uh, went back to the airline. I was pretty much the first month. I had to be in under quarantine over there for two weeks. Then I got vaccinated. I know the vaccination is a bit controversial. I can tell you definitely that when I was here in America. I didn't want to get a vaccine. Uh, I don't want to get. I didn't want to get vaccinated. I mean, with all this media that I don't trust the media anymore, and all these, you know, uh, these stories that you were hearing, and you never knew what to believe about this uh, this little virus that's been, you know, doing all this mess around the world. So, I wasn't too happy. I didn't. I initially didn't want to get vaccinated, and I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tell you guys what to do, yes or no. I felt that uh, eventually I had to do it to, to be able to sustain, you know, to sustain my job and to be able to continue with my life. So I got vaccinated and I'm feeling good. Anyway, after I got my vaccination, I actually started flying again and I flew around Europe and it's, it's, it's crazy to see. It's crazy to see all these airports are empty. There are no people walking around. Very, very, very few passengers, people traveling. If people travel, it's only for business purposes or there's no leisure, there's no tourism. Uh, but I did get uh, my license back, I did my training, and after two months away from the family, I'm finally back home to visit, you know, to be back with the family. Little Pico over here. And next few days, I'm gonna get back uh, to uncover my bike because I haven't, I haven't been, been near my bike yet. And I'll go do some, I owe you guys some uh, videos of uh, the, the fork mounted wind deflectors where I never actually got to test them out. And I'll hang out with John, we'll do some rides. So we'll have a lot of fun. So that's it, that's the update. That's where I, you know, I, I, where I disappeared to. That's where have I gone to. I'm happy to be back, happy to be with the family back in the USA and stay tuned guys. This is my squirrel protector. Two months cold start.
obviously next video we're gonna have uh, the wind uh, the wind deflector uh, review the wind deflector review right here these guys so as I was going through my bags I just found something from like two months ago a letter that I got from one of you guys from one of the subscribers and you know what let me say thank you to PSP Tommy G that sent me these nice uh, stickers I'm gonna put it inside my bag thank you so much Tommy G check it out how cool is that I'll put it right here there you go PSP Tommy G thank you Tommy thank you so much so as I've said I'm kind of beat today from a long day with John physically working actually for a change so I'm not gonna ride it uh, stay tuned in like 10 seconds I'll be jumping to the next day tomorrow where I'm taking I'll take out the bike for a spin let it run a little bit smell the fumes smell the gas there it is put it in the house I haven't been using, I haven't used it for two months. It's, you know what, I actually got to the camera before and the battery was out. Two months, the, the camera uh, the camera wasn't working, but the battery drained anyway. I have no clue why. Wow. Guys, excuse me, I haven't played with the camera for the last two months so I forgot it on time lapse so footage uh, from the helmet is like poo poo Here comes holy shift. Jeez, it's finally back. Oh, man. The myth, the legend. <laughs> the legend. Oh my god. Silverback. Oh nice. What's going on, buddy? What's going on? Look at that derby cover. I only seen it in, in uh yeah. on camera. Yeah man. Very nice. Really, really nice, dude. So what's up? I just got done telling everybody uh what While I was away for the last two months, I was following you guys and John uh, on his channel. Every video I watch and I give him a like, absolutely, yeah. But I've, I've actually never, uh, I haven't seen Silverback with the big boar kit. He don't, he don't want to run that thing. Uh, he definitely does not want to run that thing. No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so he's going to let me listen to this uh, monster. Let's uh, start it up. Oh wow, he's got the 128. Yeah, I put a little Screaming one. Screaming Eagle side. Stage 4. I put, I, I put a little one on that side. This it's just a little inconspicuous. It's not in your face. It's you know nice, I mean? it's really nice. Yeah. Now, let me start let me start it for you. Listen. Go ahead. Do me a favor, mate. You got a diaper on or? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna make, sure, wet. make sure you got a diaper on. Uh, because yeah. As soon as I start this, you're gonna, gonna be wet. freaking crapping yeah. your pants all yeah. over the place. 
Here it goes again. <laughs> I mean, start it up. Come on. when you it's hit like, it it's like slapping like yeah, a, exactly when you hit it it's like a it's like, it's like a bear slapping the friggin unbelievable wow probably can you actually hear the radio when you're uh no, riding you couldn't hear the radio even before but wow it's crazy that's it's nasty so loud it is so loud so fast so anyway enough of that Listen, yeah okay so tell the people so i just told them you're a commercial airline pilot right gone you're gone for two months from two. home obviously you miss home yeah. He spent the first two days at home with his family, and then obviously I got a chance to see him again. But uh, just tell the people where where you were. Yeah.